This video is brought to you by Card Kingdom. And while supplies last, if you mention Saffron Olive in your order notes, we'll hook you up with a free Saffron Olive sticker with any Card Kingdom order. Hey everybody, welcome back to another episode of Fish 5 with me, yours truly, your host, Krim, also known as the Asian Avenger. Today we're playing, well, a color, a color combination I love, Grixis. And, you know, it's not the typical Grixis. Yes, it looks like Grixis fires, but it's also using Lucky Clover. As we've got the Adventures package to also help us, you know, get around the Fires of Invention Clause, where you can only cast two spells a turn. Uh, and then, of course, you know, we do play the grindy game, because, you know, we, we, are, we are playing, like, Drunken Dreams. We have Fae of Wishes to pull from the sideboard. Just lots of good cards. It's just 60 cards of pure value and just pure top decking galore. So, to go over the deck a little bit more, as I had mentioned, here are some cards that make the deck work. Lucky Clover, a two-mana artifact. Whenever you cast an adventure instant or sorcery, uh, an adventure instant or sorcery spell, copy it. You may choose new targets for the copy. This means that it can, it can cast, you only cast one spell, but you get two copies of it. So, we fuse that with cards, we pair that with, like, Brazen Borrower, we've got Bone Crusher Giant to deal four damage to anybody and anywhere, and, of course, the more of those Lucky Clovers that are stacking up, the more copies we get. So, you know, if you get a whole playset of Clovers, that's just, like, a Giant is dealing eight damage. Uh, we can pair that with Murderous Rider. Yes, that does, it, like, you know, multiply the amount of damage that we're going to take for each copy. So, like, we could potentially take four a turn for killing two things, but being able to just kill two things and whatever they are, uh, creature or planeswalker, for four life, I think it's worth it. As a great card ha once had uh, for flavor text, Dark Confidant, greatness at any cost. And I think that four life is a fine price to pay. And, uh, you know, as you know, Brazen Borrow here can bounce two permanents, and that's pretty big. That's some, like, crazy tempo plays. That's a lot of board resets. Uh, and the just the synergy of the, the Lucky Clover and all of our adventure cards are just an insane amount of value. And the, the reason why it's so good is because it goes with Fires of Invention quite well. As I had mentioned, you're only casting one spell, but you get copies of them. Uh, whereas Fires of Invention, you all know this by now, you can cast spells only during your turn, and you can cast no more than two spells each turn. You may cast spells with converted mana costs less than or equal to the number of lands you control without paying their mana costs. So that means that... Yeah, we only get two spells a turn, but Lucky Clover means that we get, like, a hundred copies and have only casted one spell. So it's quite cute, uh, very sweet when paired together. And when we get something like, you know, Fires of Inventions, of course, naturally, you're going to have to play Fae of Wishes, which allows us to pull any card that we need out of our sideboard. Uh, and, of course, since it is an adventure card, if we have more than one Lucky Clover, we can pull multiple copies in one go of any card we need from our sideboard, which just does a ton of work. So, without holding up any longer, let's see. Let's go on an adventure. Oh, no. Ginger Beats. All right. Well, uh, you know, I was excited, and now I have, uh, can't help but feel like I'm in trouble. Opponent, please, show mercy. Be nice to me. Be nice to me, opponent. I get it. I get it. You've got a ginger beat. Man, like, oh. Oh, never mind. This is just, this is gonna be gross. Oh, <laughs> I love this deck so much. Even if it's slightly destroying me. But every, you know what? This is great. This is great. It's a good time. It's a good time. Uh, I think. I, I don't know how I respond in this situation. Do I just, do I even want to bounce anything? Not really, right? I don't know, I guess, I guess I'll just play a Swamp and pass. This allows me to go Bone Crusher Giant. They might have God's Willing. God's Willing is a huge concern for me. Sure, I guess I'll take two. Why not? I have to see what they're about to play. Well, makes that quite easy. Alright, well, I'll blow up a Ginger Beats. I am not any closer. I think what I want to do here is... Go Bone Crusher Giant. Yeah, let's go Bone Crusher Giant because I think this will give me enough time to block. Hopefully. I can't block Ginger Brute. I can't block Lock Twain Gargoyle. But I can try to block Stone Coil. Oh no. That's really bad. Well, I guess I'll go to 7. Comfortably, of course. I think I'm going to have to go like this. Kill the Ginger Brute. Go down to five, take a ridiculous amount of damage here, but damage... Okay, sure. I gotta go grab Kaya's Wrath before they ginger beat me down again. Ooh, I like the new update on that. That's nice. There's a timer on it. Okay, quite smooth. 
I mean, I think I'm looking for another land so I can get to Liliana, right? And I'm going to go grab a Kaya's Wrath, which is relevant here because that will gain me one life back. Maybe I could have attacked, but I was scared. I didn't want to get dunked on by, uh, oh no, Castle Luck Twain, sure. Steel Overseer, sure. All right, there we go. That's what I'm looking for. So now I play Liliana. Um, I think I should get ready to, I'm just going to go ahead and kill that. I'm going to just go ahead and kill that. And then I'm going to go ahead and play Murderous Rider. Since we have all that mana open now, we can gain some of our life back. Oh, yeah, there you go. All right, that's a good start. I don't know what kind of sideboard I have for this because I'm going to be 100% honest with you, YouTube. I don't have anything prepared for this matchup. I guess we can go down a Lucky Clover and grab a Ritual of Soot. Pass. Hopefully, actually, I might have... I might want that Lucky Clover, because then I'm able to just ping down a ton of stuff. Like, if I ever get Lucky Clover plus, you know, Bone Crusher Giant, I start sending a bunch of damage everywhere. Uh, I'll keep this. This hand seems decent. We have a Board Wipe, we have Lucky Clover, we have Thought Erasure, we have Father, Nikki B, Nicholas, <laughs> Nicholas Bellasio. Oh, boy. Yup. Play this tapped. I think I'm gonna go with Thought Erasure. Alright. I guess I'll take two damage, by choice, of course. Hold on, that's their artifacts, right? Okay, cool. Not like mine included. Mystical Forge, the pizza oven. I don't know which one I dislike more, to be completely honest. Like, I really dislike both of them. But I guess Mystical Forge is one heck of a magic card, so I'm gonna get rid of that. Try to get towards a Fires of Invention here. Sooner I can get to one of those, easier it will be for me to fire off a Fae of Wishes. Alright, Steel Overseer is going to deal me some damage here. Lucky me. Alright, I'm going to go ahead and blow up the board to get rid of that. I've seen enough of what what a uh, Steel Overseer can do in Modern. Don't need it to do any more to me. I guess we go with Nicholas Bolas. And plus... Just force the situation from the, uh, force the, like, the answer from the opponent. What is that? All that glitters in hand? Nice! And we get there with Nicholas Bolas. Oh, I'm keeping this hand. I'm keeping this hand. I really like that I can, I think the inclusion of Lucky Clover is, is brilliant. I think it's exactly, okay. Alright, so you have, is that a playset? Is that, oh my god, is that a playset? Please tell me that's a bug and you- Okay, hold on. Is this like randomly Neo brand in standard? What's going on? What's going on? How does one scry 3, 6, 9, 12 cards in the opening? Oh, opponent. Whatever you're doing, you're doing th 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 that good work. What is- Okay, that's only- That's only two of them. Okay. I was like- I thought that was like 12 cards or something like that. It, like, was displayed as if they had, like, a full playset of, uh, Sphinx of Foresight. I probably should kill that. Or bounce that. Wild Preserver, huh? I need a land pretty bad. Come on, deck. Don't be funny. Give me some lands. Give me some lands. Alright. This is not good for us. Tell you what, I do not want to bounce an Arboreal Grazer. I know that. Okay, and we did not draw land, so that looks like we're going to be in trouble. We have everything we need to deal with this early game here. Good news is that we can bounce Sphinx of Foresight back. I need to keep them off of any kind of, uh... Alright, there we go. That's pretty good for us. What am I looking for? If, I'm, if I ever draw fires, this could be pretty major. As of right now, I don't think I will be able to, so I'm gonna just... I don't even know if I'll hit land number four. There's a discussion for me to play Fae of Wishes. Either way, though, I'm gonna have to blow up a Sphinx of Foresight with Murderous Rider. Alright, luckily this kind of saves us the trouble, right? Because th this all dies if we draw a fourth land. This all dies if we draw a fourth land. Fourth untapped land. Well, you know, Shuffler, you are funny. 
You've been known to crack jokes, and you're continuing to do so. So thank you, my friend. And I present to you the stand-up tour of 2020, the Asian Avenger featuring Shuffler. Main support. All right, that resolves. Okay. This is only temporarily helpful. Like, I mean, I got to deal with the second one, but at least I don't have any mana up or something like that. Hey. Hey, that's what I'm looking for. I right, don't steal all my stuff. Don't steal all my stuff. Don't steal all my stuff. That's my goal here, just to make sure that they don't steal everything of mine. Part of me wants to shock play Liliana Dreadhorde General. This way, if stuff gets stolen, I can play Nico Bolas to immediately blow it up. And maybe they have like mystical dispute or something like that. So I'm gonna get I'm gonna just try to get rid of their their creature. And this way if they have something like uh the pirate, the one mana one one, it doesn't kill Lily either. We have Brazen Borrower. Interesting. So what are they looking for here? Alright, Crisis is a little terrifying. Oh no, is it questing beast? There's always a questing beast nearby. It's the rule. It's an automatic rule. I, I don't make them. Slow that up. Rise and shine. I don't know what. I, uh, you know what? I will play this tapped. It's a lot of blood crypts, but we kind of have a blocker right now. They probably are gonna go for a a sphinx's rev, or I mean a the the crisis thing for four. Draws them two cards. Okay. Well, 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 well. Very nice. I wonder if there's anything I can grab. Are they exile? You have no weakness that I cannot exploit. So if I blow this up. Okay. We're not blocking many things anyways. I guess like the only thing that could punish me here is if they go and play Shifting Michael Ceratops and that swings through. But now that we have fires, we could immediately just we could start we need one more blue source, then we can start scrying. Oh look, it's Oko. That's pretty cool, we could use Oko's ability here. To turn our own zombies into three threes. Let's broaden your existence. I think we. No, we don't have le we don't have the g the game here. I was gonna say we could go grab Elder Spell, blow up two Planeswalkers, but I don't think that's gonna work here. Let's go take a look, see. So I can go casualties. That's not an artifact anymore, so that's Planeswalker, Land, Creature. I think I'm just going to go with a Kaya's Wrath here. Right? Oh, no, no. I need to blow up that Oko. Pretty bad. Let's see. What do we have in the yard? Spot Erasher. I could just try to... No, I don't have the colors to do mass manipulation. Interesting. I guess we'll just grab this. All right. Uh, I could create a food token, or I could just keep making them exile things. There we go. That's a blue source I can use. I probably could have shocked, but I'm going to wait until my upkeep to do this. Oh, that's a good, that's a good draw for them. It's quite the draw for them. All right, cool. We take game one. They have a very interesting build of Simic. I'm curious to see how they, their deck plays out. Uh, we saw the Goose. We saw the 2-2 with Flash. There's a fairly decent amount of reasons to keep Bonecrusher Giant in. Brazen Borrower seems decent because they probably play Wolf, and we're going to need to bounce a few of those. Um, Ritual of My Foot. 
Uh, let me think, let me think, let me think. Maybe, I still want to leave one Noxious Grasp in the board, actually. Want to just grab. It's good to have. Because we, since we play Fae of Wishes, it does require us to sideboard a little differently. Okay, this is quite awesome. This is an amazing hand, barring we don't, like, miss a ton of land drops. Come on, deck. Reward us. Reward us. Wow. Let me drop this dismal backwater. I do the same thing in real life, by the way. I shuffle my cards just like that all the time. I don't do it as well as Brian Kibler or anything like that. But that's because Brian Kibler does it masterfully. Uh-oh. Looks like the goose is about to be loose. Honk. Bonk. Ooh. Ooh, this gives us... Ooh. I like this, actually. This gives us a scry. I'm on board. Okay, we don't need our third fires of invention. I mean, I could be wrong. Oh, no Oko. No Oko. Darn. Turns out, YouTube, there, there's an Oko on two. It's a pretty good line. Alright, I think I want to rip their hand apart. No, actually, no, I'm just kill Oko. Oko's never good to let stay around. I mean, it's not as bad as Nyssa, but... It's more so I'm just worried about playing around Veil of Summer. Because then from here on out, they could just leave up mana to hold up to cast Veil at all times. Alright, there's the Sphinx. It's a pretty cool build. I don't... I mean, I like Sphinx of Foresight. I don't know all the purposes it serves, but, like, it seems pretty cool. Alright, this should be able to draw a Veil of Summer, a Counterspell, something like that from the opponent. Yep, there you go. Well, at least it was the right decision to go ahead and blow up all that stuff before they untapped. I guess it would have been about the same unless they have Double Veil. Like, if I had gone Thought Erasure instead of killing Oko... I would have been able to rip that card from their hand and maybe whatever key pieces they have. But then they'd still have Oko. They'd be hitting me for three. This kind of preserves my health total in the event they go Questing Beast or something sad like that. Deck, please. I'm going to play one of these. See how they feel about that. Oh, we're about to get the engine online. We're about to get the engine online. If, for some odd reason, they don't have an Oko and they decide to Elkify my artifact, that will be sad. But if they don't... Like, even a Nissa here, we can kind of deal with it, right? We blow up the land and the Nissa itself. Unless, of course, Veil of Summer comes down and really makes us sad. Alright, so it's Nissa time. Please don't have a Veil of Summer. It's really all I can ask for. Veil of Summer super ends us right on the spot here. Or a counter magic spell or something like that. Either one. I guess if it's counter magic, this won't matter. I mean, this this will get countered, but... Alright, so the copy... Oh, jeez. It is Veil of Summer. What a blowout. What a blowout. That is quite the start from them. Quite the start from them, but... I guess we still have outs, right? Like, this is the most powerful card in their deck. And in any deck, really. So I need to go and grab Kaya's Wrath. To kind of survive this. Let me see here. Because I can't take another round of all of this. That's six. Eight. Down to nine. Yeah, there's no way I can take another round of this. I need to draw a land also. Alright, here we go. I need to grab two cards here. Please let me survive this. Actually, what do I want to do here? Oh yeah, I need to get Kaya's Wrath. Kaya's Wrath. I'm going to grab an Elder Spell on top of this. Uh, my reason for the Elder Spell is that in the event they play an Oko or something like that, we can steal a victory if we draw a fifth land. Because we go Nico Bolas plus Elder Spell. So we just need a land here. And plus we can all, like, so we can pick off like Oko, Nissa, have Bolas go off, and or now we can go Elder Spell. I guess I have a line where I can survive this, right? The line would be for me to go Thought Erasure, see what's in hand. But no, like, Elspeth has to die this turn. Does this resolve? Is it another Veil of Summer? Oh, it is not. Very nice. 
Kill the land, keep him on three. All right, perfect. Pass to the opponent. We can pitch these two to, to the Fae of Wishes. Oko animating here is a problem, but not much I can do about that. Sphinx of Foresight. Okay, so what are my lines here? Let them scry, block, yeah. Let your weak minds crumble. They'll get a scry, which can be scary. But I know they can't scry into Nyssa because they need one more land. Alright, cool. So I think we should be able to win now. Because I'm going to block, discard Fires of Invention plus Swamp. This doesn't have Trample, right? Okay, cool. Actually, I could potentially... I can win. I can win. I'm going to pitch both these cards, get seven mana. Plane wide celebration to proliferate. Get Tamio sure. Proliferate, 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 proliferate. This isn't legendary. So I ult and then I win. Yay! Now let's go ahead and move on to match three here. We've got a solid start, actually. Perfect Grixis mana. Fires of Invention. A sweeper. Like, land four? Okay, perfect. Land four it is. I'll lead with Watery Grave so we can go Castle Vantress. Whoa, Miss Merrily Fairy? That's really cool. I don't know what they're doing, but I think it's going to ramp into Oko. Brazen Borrower. Uh, I guess Brazen Borrower, because that bounces tons of things. I'm actually going to keep this additional Fires of Invention on top, because they've already represented they have Brazen Borrower, which means they could bounce my Fires of Invention on a key turn. And if I double down playing two Fires of Invention, it makes it harder for them to actually bounce it and disrupt the Invention train. Like right now, they've got a lot of mana, but nothing to sink into, and I have to just hope they draw a land. But if it's like a Planeswalker, we have an answer. And if it's Nyssa or, or Oko, we can blow up the creature. That is produced off of it, if need be. Or the, the Planeswalker itself. And then blow up the creature with Ritual of Soot. One, two, three, four, five. So I definitely want to leave up... I'm going to just go ahead, just for the sake of being able to cast two spells. Because I'll only cast two spells next turn. Fires and Fires, maybe. Alright. Down some health. Go down to ten. Sure. Alright, let's play Fires of Invention. Try to blow up the board here. So here's to hoping they don't have anything too crazy. Not like... Okay, cool. And we got there. Nice. Um, We go down one Clover. Brazen Borrower can bounce the Goose, the tokens, things like that. So I want to keep all of those cards in. One Noxious Grasp in the side so we always have access to one. Um, Maybe I can go down a Brazen Borrower. Yeah, I guess it'd be down a Brazen Borrower plus... A lucky clover. Stay at three clovers. So we're on the draw here. And since since they're in blue and green, they we could get Oko'd. Although the nice thing about Brazen Borrow is that we're able to bounce something like Questing Beast and Friend. Which is pretty good. Like the clover, I think we've only gotten to play it once so far. But usually when we have it, there's some crazy value to be had. And I guess we're about to find out what kind of value that is. Uh, lead off with Temple of Epiphany. Alright, so th there's part of me that wants to go Lucky Clover on two. But Thought Erasure on two is, oh boy. Lucky Clover, Lucky Clover, and oh, Bone Crusher Giant. That's just two, six damage split up however I want in increments of two. Oh, that's pretty nice. That's pretty nice. I'm not going to lie to you. I mean, I guess it depends on what they play this turn, right? All right. I think I am going to rip something from their hand. All right, so it's Veil of Summer plus that. So, all right, cool. We'll rip the Oko. And I'm definitely going to be keeping Murderous Giant on top because that's potentially six damage over a few turns. All right, I'm going to go ahead and play Lucky Clover. Pass it back. Next turn, we can go Castle Vantress plus Bone Crusher Giant, even killing Anissa if we need to. And Veil of Summer does nothing against it. So that feels pretty nice. I 
kind of like the idea of going fires plus lucky clover. Fires. Lucky clover. We have 12 damage in hand. <laughs> Casually just have 12 damage in hand, YouTube. That's what I like seeing, to be honest. I'm going to shock this for the ability to surveil, or I mean scry twice. Yeah, I'll go ahead and do this. Pick this off. Lucky Clover gives us more copies. We pick off everything. Okay, cool. And looks like we won this one also. <laughs> oh, I. you know what? I will take the play. Don't mind me. Okay, I'm definitely keeping this hand. Again, with the Lucky Clover starts. We have a total of 10 adventure cards. It's just so much value. Okay, mo opponent has mulliganed once. They're on the draw. They get six. Six good ones. Oh, no. They mulled twice. That's brutal. Apologies, opponent. Apologies. Oh, it's mono red. No apologies. All those apologies are taken back. I'm going to lead off with Lucky Clover. This means that next turn I can go ahead and Fae of Wishes them if need. Or I mean, not Fae of Wishes. I can Thought Erase for them. Oh, it looks like it's Phoenix. So we're going to try to go get Ashiok and another spell if need be. That's like probably the best draw we could ask for. And Crag. Sure that away yeah let's just try to get to five lands because remember we do need the double blue we have the double blue source to activate castle vantress so we'll go ahead and play fires of invention here see if this resolves from the opponent's side of the board grab two spells with fey of wishes okay okay in the event that they have an ashiok i should probably just get ready right to blow that up and let's see, what else do we have to worry about from them? We just can get Tamio back if we wanted. Or we can get stuff back with Tamio. We can also go ahead and name Improbable Alliance. We also have an Oh Crap button. You know what, I'll get Casualties of War here. That's fine. See, the reason why I'm doing this is because I do worry if they have Phoenixes in their deck. And if they do, we'll have an answer to it. The Royal Scions. Okay. That's pretty cool. All right, so I gotta get two things. First, I'll play. I'll play this. See what they have in their yard. I'll, I'll have a more informed decision. All right, cool. I'm actually gonna go ahead and play another. Uh, I'll just play Fey of Wishes because I can leave up my mana here to go ahead and surveil, get to land number six. Perfect. That seems good to me. So pick off Crackling Drake, Royal Scions, and the Dismal Backwater. For the realm. They must like their cards in hand, so that's fine. That uh, resolves. All right. Go ahead and keep one land on top. Uh, may, uh, no, probably not. I want, like, Nico Bolas or something like that. Destroy target land. Planeswalker. Target creature. Check. So target creature, that one. Target land, that one. Target planeswalker, that one. And if it's mystical dispute, we can pay for it. Alright, so we've kind of confirmed that they're not on Phoenix. They do not have Phoenix. Really, that's what this is all for, to just pretty much confirm if they're on Phoenix. If they weren't, whatever. We're still hitting all their spells. Doesn't feel that bad. So now we're going to scry. Start digging towards like Nico Bolas. Like that one right there. Three, six, seven. I'm actually going to want all these. I, all I need is my seventh land, so I know for a fact I can then just uh, easily blow, like, just go off with plain wide celebration. The immortal, the May as well start hitting them. Fairy Vandal, you, you got it. My internet, my internet is without limits. Cool, cool. So they have a shock, probably. I'm leaving this back in the event that they have more flash creatures. I think... No, we can't win here. Not yet. Alright, let's go ahead and do that. Go to upkeep. Activate. Bone Crusher Giant. Yeah, sure, why not? I'll keep that. That's pretty good. Unfortunately, this is going to be something that happens here. 
where they can now deal one damage to something. I'll let them send it all to Ashiok. That's fine. I'll decline, decline to cast the second one. Main. Eh, let's go ahead and eat another card from their hand. Sure, why not? So we know they have Nico Bolas. That's good. I mean, not Nico Bolas. Uh, Niv Mizzet. Green Crag Pyromancer. More spells. Cool. And we've eaten their yard, eaten their deck up. Felt like a really dominant performance from us there. I kind of want to leave it the way it is. Like, everything seems fine, right? As long as I have something to deal with uh, Niv-Mizzet. And I'll probably need to deal with Improbable Alliance, which is Brazen Borrower. They're going to try to counter me some more. They'll probably bring in, like, Negates, Disdainful Strokes, something along those lines. Sure. I mean, we saw Lava Coil. Lava Coil won't do too much against us. So they're probably taking those out. They didn't see our Giant yet, either. So they don't know about Bone Crusher. They, they might be able to, uh, like, assume that we have a non-zero amount, considering that they saw Lucky Clover. However, we do have to be mindful that, yeah, if they get probable, improbable alliance online, that will be terrifying. I know this sounds greedy, but we have a sweeper. We have Lucky Clover. I'm going to keep these. I hope we draw a blue source. It's fine. So if you're, for those that are wondering why there's an Overgrown Tomb in here, it was this or Godless Shrine. Because we Godless Shrine would allow us to splash a single white, call like a, a card that requires a single white source. So maybe like Teferi or something like that. Uh, but then doing single green, we get act uh, access to like Tamio, things like that. Okay, do they have Bedevil? All right, we gotta we gotta watch out now because they do have things like, yep, there's Improbable Alliance. Didn't draw the blue s the the untapped blue source, but it's still a blue source. I'll take it. This way we can go Drawn from Dreams. We need to Thought Erasure our opponent pretty bad. Next turn we can go double Thought Erasure if need be. They go Thrill, uh, po Thrill of Possibilities. Yep. So they'll get they'll get their token. They draw one more. They get another token. To be completely honest, I don't know if we need more than what we've already got on board right now. They probably have counter magic. I thought so. All right, cool. So we took the counter spell from them. Uh, let's start digging now. We have more than enough lands. We just need to sweep the board here. They're going to opt to deal us three. Maybe. Draws them another card, which is pretty good. Yep. So they kept it on top, huh? Take three. Take one more. Double Improbable Alliance is nasty. I'm not going to lie to you. So we're going to have to go and find Fey of Wishes into Planar Cleansing. Because now they could just easily activate Improbable Alliance on their own. Okay. That's a problem. They get two tokens here, huh? And they wanted both cards on top? That's terrifying. Let me think here. What can I do about this? They use double blue to do that. Fires of Invention plus another Drawn from Dreams to help me find Fey of Wishes. I think that's the way it's got to go right now. Fairy Vandal. Alright, so that's two, four. Alright, so they have four damage on board right now. One of these has to be a counter spell. Either that or like Niv Miss It. Something along those lines. Or Improbable Alliance, the, the three cool, actually. It's pretty good. So I've been told. Okay, so they activate, they get three three tokens, they draw and then discard, they're tapped out. So this will be our chance to go find Planar Cleansing right now. That is our best bet to win this game. Didn't find Fey of Wishes. What does it look like now for us? Can't play any of those, we don't have to cast the copies. Maybe we get them to send more of their uh, their stuff here. Ah, okay, cool. So I just gotta make it through one turn. Conceivable. I gotta just make it through one turn here. 
They're going at me, so this represents that they have either A, a fry, or some and something to deal with Nico Bolas. Alright. You could try to win the game. Plan our cleansing to blow up the board. If we need to. Like, if they have counter magic, they're going to go for it right now. And then we want Tamio to bring all of it back. Proliferate, proliferate, proliferate. Gain four. Just in case. They have to shock my Nico Bolas or they're dead. And then I gain four just as a precautionary uh, way to, like, gain some life. Alright, cool. So they countered my stuff. That makes sense. So next turn, we're just going to go ahead and try to go for it again, right? Because we play Tamio and then try to proliferate another bunch of times. Thrill of possibilities. All right, so the opponent is now definitely digging to try to find a way with to either A, blow up my bolus cause, or counter my stuff. All right, let's take our turn here. Tamio. Minus. Same deal. I follow the tracks of the wise. Proliferate, proliferate. Seriously, if they have like a shock or something. Just proliferate four times. Nice, and we win. All right, this is match five. We're at four and zero right now. Uh, just moving through the field quite smoothly here with like dominant performances from our deck and we've beaten simic decks along the way lucky clover has an immense amount of value um, i'm gonna bottom that i don't want that pass back to the opponent uh, i'm gonna go ahead and play lucky clover let's see if we could do this Oh boy. Alright, we'll get rid of Hydra. Please be a land on top. We have three fires of invention. We just need a land on top here. Give me some lands, and I think we'll be in an alright spot before Oko comes down and embarrasses us. Game, please. Why do you do this to me? Alright. 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 Game's got jokes. I like it. I like it. Very funny. Very funny. Sure. Oh, thank you so much, game. Sweet, sweet game. Thank you. And it's a second black source. All right, cool. We'll let the... Oh, this is going to get so much value. So I take six this turn. Yes, that is a lot of damage. All right, so I guess I have to hang back for a little bit longer. Thinking about it right now. I mean, I still get my copy, even if they bounce this, so that's fine. They were supposed to do it before uh, anything happened. I'm trying to think about this here. How do I get around this? If I shock, I go down to six. They have Questing Beast, I die. I don't want them to... I kind of have to do this, I think. Wait, why did they do that? Because now I can just blow up the board. Alright, cool. Blow up the board. This won't save them. Let me see. What do, what do I want to do here? I'm going to just go ahead and play double creature. And... If they, if they try to steal both of these with like something like a uh, mass, mass manipulation, we can steal, we can bounce both of them back once they gain control of it. Oh, bow before Nicole, I will 
her. My schemes. Oh, uh, let me think ending. here. Yeah, I may as well just play it. If they double blocked, I could have killed both, actually. I should have probably swung. Just in the event they try to they steal this and then I get dunked on because of that. Oh nice! And we still get there. Hmm. Probably go with a few. I I do want. Like, so I saw that they played Brazen Borrower. So we didn't see much. We saw that they had Hydras, right? They, we saw that they had Questing Beasts. So that's pretty good for them. Uh, guess we go down a Brazen Borrower if we need to. I mean, it's nice to be able to go play Brazen Borrower, bounce back any problematic in turn, uh, like, like enchantments, artifacts, any permanents that are, are crazy to us, and then being able to rip it from their hand with Thought Erasure. And we witnessed there how much, like, that Lucky Clover goes the distance in this matchup. And in almost every matchup. I'm gonna go for this now. Yep. Alright, cool. Uh, I think it's still Nyssa every time. Just because what Nyssa can do, it, it's gotta be Nyssa. I do need a land, so I'm gonna actually throw that away. And I'm gonna play Fae of Wishes. Because Fae of Wishes is something that if they want to bounce it, they can. They don't even have a second blue source for that yet. I don't want to leave it out there for Oko to pick pick up though, so. Let me think here. What can I grab from them? From the sideboard here. Is there anything I can grab? Ah, may as well, may as well it's free, right? Okay. I can grab a Lucky Clover if I want to. I can grab an Elder Spell if I want to. Interesting. So I have one blue source. I can grab Nyssa. I can grab Questing Beast. There we go. So this is only red or green. So there's only one red thing they can deal with. Obviously, I'm not going to grab, like, Garrick or anything like that when I see that they have double Ether Gust And Brazen Borrower. Alright, so Nyssa's on the board. So they don't have a blue source up with this. That's pretty good for us, actually. Sure. I'll just play this as a blocker. Pass it back to them. If they steal this, whatever. If they bounce it back to my hand with Brazen Borrower, that's great news. I get another, uh, I get another wish. So I don't think the opponent's gonna do that. And Liliana perfectly will get around Ether Gust. See, I think they, uh, the opponent could have played Anissa there. Like, should have waited to play the Nissa there. For sure. Okay, well, I'm not bouncing it back to your hand. I know that. I just needed one land. It's quite unfortunate. One land could have changed this, I think. I'm gonna go ahead and play... A good old... Bra like... Lucky Clover to try to hold up to pass back to the opponent. I'm gonna block. Take the damage from this card until we draw another blue source. I can't bounce that with Brazen Borrower. Because it's non-land permanent only. So we're down to 12. We've got to try to resolve a spell somehow. Okay. I will invert the world to watch kings grovel and worms rule. Cool. I invite you to change your ways. Alright, that's pretty cool. Hmm. Do I even want to bounce that back? Not really. I just need a land. Well, guess uh lands aren't a part of my uh deck building, so I guess I could go and grab Grab an Elder Spell just in case. Just in case they decide they want to go and play. Like Nyssa, something like that. This keeps their creatures in check. If they want to Elka, they can go and go Ether Gust. Put this on top. They know I'll bottom it because I've been in need of a sixth land. Feel free, friend. It's fine. I go down to eight here. I really need my deck to come through for me here. Game, game, please. This is now. Is it? It's a basic creature. It's no longer a land, so I could technically target it. I think. Hmm. Can I afford to do anything other than... No attacks. Three, six, seven. 
Yeah, I'm having a bad run of it. If they counter this, they counter this. Can't really stop that. Yep, disdainful stroke. You got it. So they probably put like three to four of those, right? So I have to block. Yep, there you go. They got me dead. I just couldn't I couldn't draw any any lands there, and I needed Nissa a lot earlier. So a little unlucky for me. Alright, deck. No more jokes. We know they play like probably three to four disdainful strokes, uh, which is quite the magic card. They also had the double ether gust, which doesn't stop anything but our Nico Bolas, which is pretty relevant. And of course, there is our Fires of Invention. The Brazen Borrowers were kind of annoying, but you know, that's just like I, I can't do anything about that anyways. Um, I wish we there was something like a Curse of Death's Hold in this format. I will take the play. That was quite the second game there. Got a little stuck on mana. Let's see what we can do. We have our four lands that we do know. Move that to the bottom. Need to find a second black. Yes, Castle Vantress comes into play tapped, but we're not doing anything probably for the first three turns. Because I'm not entirely depending on the fact that I will have this Fires of Invention. All right, so they're going Goose. They're looking to go ahead and lead this right into either A and Oko. That's bad for us. It's really bad for us. I, that's something, but it's not the greatest, considering that I think Oko is about to come down right now. Okay. So here comes Veil of Summer or something, right? They gotta have it. There's no way they don't have it. Like a 30 of those. Yep. There you go. Mystical Dispute. So they just board into like a Simic Flash deck almost. Like a Simic Control deck. Sure. We'll let this just all happen here. They're gonna try to, I think, play Nyssa or something like that. Yep. You got it. We will I'm going to send that back to their hand. Alright, come on. Give me something good. Let me think here. What is a clean way to sweep off this board? I go board wipe, that won't do enough. I go Garrick, that's not great. Like, I have to remember that they probably have Veil of Summer or Disdainful Stroke, so I'm trying to play underneath that. Yep, I'm gonna try to play underneath that. So they're representing six mana, that's okay with me. Sure. You got it. So this now shows me that they've got Veil of Summer. They've got Veil of Summer. Interesting. Get around that. This should give me a better idea of what I can work with. All right, another Nissa. Land number six. I'll take it. Take six here, and then we potentially die, though. I have to kill Nissa. There's nothing else I can do but kill Nissa. So if they have Questing Beast, we die. We need to find a board wipe. But if not, I can go and play Fae of Wishes plus Liliana to block and block. So I'm down to three here. Questing Beast kills us. Another Nissa kills us. Like a counter spell kills us. There's a lot that shuts us cold in our, shuts us down cold in our tracks. I'd love to have that, but I just don't see that being something I can cast anytime soon. I'm gonna keep the land here. Is it Disdainful Stroke time? Okay. So I can remove them off two lands if I do this. This is the same, by the way. No matter what I would have done, it's the exact same. If I would have gone ahead and a like made a token, they could bounce one and kill it. So I may as well get rid of two creatures, right? Yeah, GG's. All right, we're at four and one. Uh, last one came down to the wire there. Uh, opponent was on all lands and had a top deck. Had, had a few live top, uh, top decks, so not really surprised we actually lost that one, but... Hopefully this matchup turns around. It looks like it's going to be some kind of aggro deck. So we're going to just pretty much mulligan until we find interaction. Pass back to the opponent, which I hope they just don't play Chandra. That's like the biggest punish they have. Scorch Spitter, sure.
send that back. Bloodfell Caves. Let's take a look at their, their hand here. Aurelia, that's a problem. Shock Shock's a problem. Get rid of Aurelia. Nice, an untapped, uh, an untapped land. And we go up to five mana. Smooth. Fervent Champion, that's a problem. Yeah, that's that's a full board right there. Uh, that's one, two, three. So now they have the ability to go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Plus a pump, so that's eleven. So I'm down to two. Do I have an out here? I guess I could like try to block, make him spend a shock somewhere, and then next turn go off for the sweeper, or I can go dig for a ritual of soot now and save this for something else. Let me count this again. So they can pump shock once. That's three, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Let me just try to fight this one. Ritual of Soot. I think I'm gonna have to do this. I'm gonna have to take the Thought Erasure because I, if they do what I think they're gonna do, they're gonna dump their hand or they're gonna leave up. They have to hold back a shock, right? Because they're gonna be able to mentor one thing. So that's one, two, three, five, six, seven, eight, ten. So I'm down to three. Yep, shock to the face. You got it. Hmm. It gives me a blocker from all their hasting threats. I do like that. Sure, I'll keep that. So I'm down to one. They draw anything with haste, I die. Or another burn spell. Alright, let's see what I can do here. None of these save me from the burn that is our opponent, though. Like, actually nothing saves me. I guess I could try to go and grab... Tamio, And then just actually play this... as a blocker. I could have played Fae of Wishes, but it... Okay, cool. All right, let's go Bolus. Let's start just, I guess, working our way through. Uh, like we go to one here. Dissolve. So they're out of cards. Will resonate throughout the multiverse. Really need to find, get up to land seven. I just got to live long enough so I can go and try to get plane wide celebration. All right. That's probably another land in hand then. I will Wait, what was that? <laughs> you have no I wonder if they have uh, the whatever the firstborn. Mm, okay, how do I get out of this spot? Have I played anything at all this game? I think this ensures that I get another land, right? The of the this is just for the life linking. All right, can't attack. I don't want to get hit by anything with haste. Hope they don't draw a burn spell. Hit okay, lava coil. That's fine. Actually, I'll just discard here. Throw away that. Throw away brazen borrower. Sure. And now we win. Cool. All right, we're gonna proliferate, proliferate, gain four, proliferate. Submit those two. Submit those two. All right, cool. And then we won. Is your Woo! Dancing around one health all game. That's how you like to do it right there, YouTube. Just on the cusp right there. Pretty much almost died every time. <laughs> um, Thought Erasure doesn't seem great here. Noxious Grass, what does that hit? That hits, that hits Tajik. That hits Aurelia. Doesn't hit many of the early threats that I, I'm looking to blow up. So I'm going to actually... Cards oh, must be at 60. I guess. Let's just leave that in. Why not? Another lucky clover means that we can get extra value off of things like our shocks. We do have to kill Tajik immediately. Keep this. Hopefully we scry into like a sweeper. We have double black. We have our two scry lands, which are very beneficial to us. All right. Javier Dominguez coming in and hitting us for one. 
I'll keep that. That's just solid in the aggro matchup as it's also a 1-4 body, as we've seen. Okay, yeah. That's going to have to get blown up. Actually, I think that's fine. Right? I'm, like, a little more worried about something else coming down on turn 3. Because, like, if I... I guess, like, I can kill Tajik with Noxious Grasp. But this way, I get to potentially pick off two threats. Right on, right on. It's a soldier, not a knight. Okay. They don't have any white mana right now. Okay, cool. That's... So I know I'm safe from God's willing. I want the original copy to not get super obliterated or dunked on, so I'm going to go ahead and send damage there. Two to the Javier Dominguez, two to the Healer's Hawk. Because if they blank the initial copy and not uh, of, of Bone Crusher Giant, we don't get the creature side, which feels bad. This is Tajik. Hmm. I'm going to just go and grab some cards out of the sideboard. Let's see, what's a good call here? We have the ability to go get Garrick. We have the ability to get Tamio, so that's open to us. I also like Thought Erasure. Okay, we'll get Thought Erasure first. This way we know what we're working with. And I'll just grab another Noxious Grasp. Cool. Luckily we got two Noxious Grasps going. Interesting, I can bounce one. I can bounce one. I'm going to play Castle Vantress because we don't have any islands. I'm going to try to rip one more card from the opponent's hand. See what they have. If it's a shock, whatever. But I have to assume they're either A, a 4-drop, or God's willing. A battlefield with 1-1 one, one counter on it. That's fine. That doesn't matter to me. Cool. Alright, I'm going to throw away that magical land over there. I don't need it. Next turn, we can go Brazen Borrower, bounce both Boros, uh, Challenger. They probably think that we don't have another Noxious Grasp, so that's good. All right, Skewer, down to six. Down to four after the ability to shock here. All right, now I've played my giant, so it can sit and hang out. Interesting. What are they doing now? Can blow one of these up, but then Tajik comes down and really embarrasses us. Yeah, let's just go ahead and get rid of this. Well, that's a really good draw. Fires of Invention plus Nico Bolas seems like exactly where I want to be. I don't know if I'm necessarily afraid of getting attacked by anything with haste. They can let me know it, like after and then and then punish me, but I feel like being able to bounce everything they play will be just fine. Sure. Alright, now, since I can't interact on their turn, it does slightly matter. Uh, three, six, seven. So I'm gonna wait. Alright, cool! And we went five and one! Well, that went five and one. We almost got the five and zero oh at the end there. Uh, unfortunately, we did get stomped by the Simic opponent there. Well, we didn't get stomped, but it was a close game three. Lots of back and forth. That's how the, this deck feels almost all the time. Like, it's just super swingy. There's gonna be a lot of haymakers going back and forth, and, you know, we're... Our goal is to also get to a point where they're in top deck mode and hopefully like Lucky Clover had already grinded out a ton of value and then we just need to jam a Nico Bolas, a Drawn from Dreams, anything like that to just really pull ahead and just like close out the games. And as you saw there, oftentimes we won with just plain wide celebration plus like Nico Bolas, which is quite the sweet combination, which is weird when you think about the lore because plain wide celebration, as you can see in the card, has a fallen Bolas statue but somehow also pairs quite well with Nico Polis for an auto win so the deck was a blast I think uh moving forward 
I would probably go down to three Lucky Clovers and maybe add a, th a third drawn from Dreams just so we can get, like, draw our ways back into the game. Uh, you know, I... I May, like, I don't think there are any other inventions, or not inventions, uh, adventure cards that I really want to add. Just these adventures is already, like, fun enough. And I, I think either we can go another Drawn from Dreams or a Liliana Dreadhorde General. Uh, and, and maybe something out of the sideboard to deal with Wicked Wolves. Because we actually have zero ways to efficiently deal with a Wicked Wolf. Outside of hoping that our opponent just doesn't have food tokens. Or we're able to get them to sacrifice it to, to Liliana and or Unmoored Ego it if you want. But that feels kind of bad. So uh, without holding you up any longer, I just want to say thank you to everybody that came back for another episode of Fish 5.0. Thanks for watching my content. Thanks for stopping by my stream and hanging out, saying hi, subbing, doing all of it. It really does mean the world to me and coming back every week. Uh, and, and it really uh, – I just want to say thank you to everyone that's just out there in ch uh, like in my chats and in the comment section showing some love, giving those likes. Thank you so much. And as always, if you like the content we make here at MTG Goldfish, make sure to leave a like and a sub. Hit the bell icon to be notified when a brand new video comes up on MTG Goldfish. Other than that, it's your friendly neighborhood Asian Avenger signing out, and I'll see you at the next one. Praise Bolas. Bye. Thanks for watching the video. If you enjoyed it, help us out by clicking that like button down below. And to keep up on all the latest and greatest, click that subscribe button. And don't forget to hit that bell icon to get alerts whenever we have new videos. And if you want to, check out some of our other sweet videos here and here.